Right guys, so today I just wanted to update you quick on my um, experience so far on my RS3. I know I keep doing this, but um, I feel like I've come to a, well, it's a problem really. There's a, a massive problem with uh, Audi RS3, it's not just my car. Um, so I'll tell you what it is. You let me know what you think. And if anyone else has the same problem, let me know because um, I've looked online. It looks like a few people are getting the same problem. So what it is, is I'm 7,000 miles into the ownership now of the RS3. Well, I, I was when I ate the problem. I'm now about 8,000. <coughs> um, but some of you might have guessed it already, but the tyres, the front two tyres, worn down really badly on the inside of a tyre. Like, just on the inside of a tyre. Um, the rest of the tyre was still legal. Just on the inside, and it worn that badly down. I mean, I should have been checking them, fair enough, but it wasn't that badly down there. I went over a bump and it just bust out. So I had to get recovered the car, because obviously you can't get um, a space saver for to go over the brakes, because the brakes are too big. So yeah, that happened. And I took it to Audi the next day. I said, there's not a problem with the car. It just, it does happen sometimes, which after 7,000 mile, 200 and something pound tires per tire, I don't think that really should be happening if, if you ask me. I think it's really dangerous because what type of tires normally wear after 7,000 miles. So to me, that's a massive health and safety hazard, really. I mean, they're really P0, so really they should be looking into that and why that's happening. If you ask me, um, like I said, if you have the same problem, let me know. But I think a few people have the same problem. The bikes are, aren't too bad. And also, a four wheel drive, you think they'd wear equally together. I mean, yeah, fair enough. The front two turns, so we're going to wear a bit bit more, but the back of war equally over all the tyre, which is just a bit, a bit odd, if you ask me. Um, yeah, it's 400 brake horsepower, but I don't really rag it about all the time. Um, anyway, I ended up having to pay for the tyres, which I was trying to get, obviously, a way around paying for them because it should, I, I think it could be a problem with the car, so why we really should I have to pay for them? Um, and Audi just said that it tends to be normal, so I ended up having to pay 500 and something pounds for the front two tyres done, which obviously is a massive cost. Um, so, yeah, you just need to take into, into account when you're um, looking at Audi RS3s, really. And also, what I want to talk about is the next generation Audi RS3. I mean, been any well as far as I'm aware been anything on the internet about it yet. Um, I mean you've heard rumours and things like it's gonna be a four cylinder but we'll get onto that in a minute. But yeah when's it gonna be? Is it gonna be end of this year, twenty twenty? Whenever it is, the big question is, is it gonna be better than this one? And if I'm gonna say yes or no now I'd probably say no it's not. Um, especially for bringing into to a car with a four cylinder engine because it's not going to sound as good. I mean, yeah, fair enough, we'll have to upgrade it on the power with the new A45 coming out and things like that. They've got more power, or well, more power than the RS3, so it needs to be more power, so it'll be more power. But is that a benefit over things that you're missing out on, like the sound? I can't really see them making it much better than this car. It's, de it's definitely not going to sound as good if it's a four cylinder. So, yeah, a big, big discussion on that is needed, I think. Um, just, I've been scratching my head lately. Obviously, they've stopped making these cars now, so these cars should hold the value quite well, which I think I've said in another video, I'm sure, but should hold the value quite well. But what I'm saying, what I'm talking about is, is a new Audi R3 going to be better? So are, are people going to want that one instead of this one? And if it's going to be worse, we're going to want, want to come back to this one if we're interested in getting into one really. I have a five cylinder, so that could be good for value of our cars so we've got the, this generation RS3 as well. So yeah, get in the comments, let me know what you think about it. Let me know what videos you want to see. I'm really struggling at the minute um, and I'll try and do my best to get them out to you. I mean, I'm busy at the minute so I've, I've hardly been putting any out. But yeah, I'm still still ticking away at YouTube really. It's just um, it's when I can get around to it. But yeah, let me know what you think. 
and if you've had the same problem as me let me know about that too but yeah let me know what you think about new audi rs3 thanks for watching see you again next time like comment and subscribe bye